So this is a video about my 1995 Honda XR600R dirt bike that I uh, customized and changed into uh, kind of a street legal, just super moto bike. It's really fun. Um, so this is what it looked like before and now what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Um, stock photo from 1995. And then again, what it looked like when I got it. So I traded... Uh, a guy a 2007 Kawasaki 450 and he gave me 750 bucks plus his bike for for that bike there and I started cleaning it and I was just gonna ride it as it was started tearing it down cleaning and then uh, kind of got obsessed with it um, took it a little too far but then I started finding wires that were kind of spliced together and things like that so um, I think the OCD get the best of me and uh, started cleaning more and more and slowly took the whole thing apart uh, basically in one night um, there you can see mostly I was taking these pictures just to make sure I could get the bike back together because I had a manual but nothing is better than, than pictures and the way it was before you know So you can see it's slowly coming apart and it's getting dark and darker outside. And that's what it looked like at the end of the day there. I had a basically a frame, engine out of the frame and the swing arm was kind of together but took it apart later. So I took the frame, got it powder coated, this cherry illusion color which is pretty cool. You can see the metal flake in it. Then I painted the engine with high temp paint engine ran really good so I didn't need to, to get inside the engine and just cleaned it really good sanded it down and painted it and then I started wrapping the tank uh, in this vinyl wrap that you use to wrap cars with um, first time doing that and it was a, a challenge to say the least I got the motor back in the frame there and you can see I started cutting down some plastic so that pinstripe is where I'll cut it down with a Dremel and kind of clean it up. You see there it follows the frame line and the same thing on the right side. And then I uh, wrap those as well to match the tank. And here's a picture with the, the left side and the tank kind of fitted on. And those white pieces on the front of the tank I, I painted with a Plasti Dip black, so came out pretty pretty good. Just kind of testing some pieces together to make sure everything fits. There I got the swing arm powder coated, a semi gloss black. It's on again. Also powder coated the forks. You can't see yet, but I'm test fitting that rear fender there. That's off of a a newer CRF 450 or 250. Rebuilt the shock completely, had the spring powder coated to match the frame. And the front fender is off of a CRF 150. Actually just bolted right on. But the rear fender took a lot of cutting and fitting on and off and on and off again. A new FMF exhaust there. And I striped that fender with the that vinyl wrap down the center, and the same on the front. Put the Baja lights on the front. It's coming together. Got new taper uh, pro taper bars there, and a Honda sticker for the tank.
then my wheels finally came in. Warp 9 Supermoto wheels. I think they're about 1150 bucks with the rotors and everything and the sprocket mounted. Got those mounted up. New chain, new bearings and everything. All suspension is new. Totally rebuilt the forks and the rear shock. New grips. New chain. That's what she looks like now. It's pretty fun around town. No turn signals yet or anything, but use hand signals. It has a brake light and a tail light. Well, thanks for watching. And if you have any specific questions about something I didn't talk about in here, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And uh, just leave me some feedback and, and tell me what you think about the, the bike overall. So thanks again.